So a little while ago, somebody in one of the Facebook groups uh, posted this picture and was asking about the fonts and whatnot to make it. And I saw this and thought this would make a good video because there's a few different techniques that you have to use to do this. When I am, well, first of all, I just copy and pasted this picture in here so I have something to look at while I make it. I don't try to trace things like this because when you trace writing, it just doesn't come out crisp. It, it, the edges are all kind of mushy and it doesn't really look right. So with something like this, I would actually just make it myself from scratch. Um, so there's two different fonts going on here. There's the My Favorite, Princess, and Daughter. Um, I think I'm going to use Santana font for that. It's pretty close. Um, and then obviously the Disney and the Is My or Disney font. So I'm going to do the text first. So use my text tool. And I'm going to type out all the stuff getting done in Santana first. Okay, I'm going to change this to Santana font. And now I want all of this to be turned into a path. So we're going to go path, object to path. My selector tool, so now I have it selected. And each one of these letters is now its own path, but we don't want them that way. So I highlight that whole line, control K combines them. Control K, control K. So now each of my lines is, is its own path. This one is obviously curved. So to do that, I'm going to go to path, path effects. And here, we add a new path effect. The only ones that I really use a lot in here are envelope deformation and bend. This is just a straight bend, so we're going to add bend. And click on this. It says edit on canvas. This is your bend path. So now I get this little line across it. That's what you'd use to control the shape that I'm going to make. So I'm going to bend the top up. Sometimes you also have to kind of push sides out a little bit or it gets like almost pointy looking but you get it just kind of how you want it so that's that's pretty good I'll bend it like that and now see if I highlight over that you can see the nodes are going to be still straight it still thinks it's a straight path so I'm going to select this and do object path again and now the nodes are where I want them. So now that's done. The next thing I want is this line that goes underneath it. And I'm going to use the Bezier tool for that. Make sure that your shape up here is none. If you have it on triangle in or triangle out, it's going to make it look like a flourish where it's fatter on one end and skinnier on the other. And we just want it to be a nice little arch. So I'm going to start it here. Click. You really, for an arch, you only really need three points. So I click there, and now I'm dragging it to here. Click one more time, right click, and now I have an arch. And then you can reshape that if you need to, but that actually looks, amazingly enough, pretty good. Um, I might want to bring the, if I double click it, I'll get my node editor. I'm going to bring this in just a touch because it looks like we want it to start and end with the letters. So there's that. But if you notice, it's really thin. That would not do well if you were cutting it. So what I'm going to do with that is thicken it up a little bit. Down here, it says fill stroke. You can either go up here to fill and stroke, or you can click on it down here. Either way, it opens up this. It will pop up over here. We want stroke style right now if the width is only at one pixel. We're going to make this fatter. Just hold that until it's as fat as I want it. That looks pretty good. And now, again, if I were to try to just cut this, it wouldn't work. It still thinks it's just a line. So we have to go to our selector, select that again. And this time, it's not an object to a path. It's actually a stroke to path because we just kind of drew a line. Ah, that is not what I wanted. Let's see if I can fix that. Alright, so I did object to path first. Now, I do stroke to path. 
Now we get it. So now if you look at it, you'll see that there's actually nodes on both sides here. So it's not just one line, it's actually a sheet. So now that's done. The next thing I want is Disney is my nose. I'm going to use this little font that I have called New Walt Disney Font. I like this one better than Waltograph because the eyes have the little circle on them already, and if you compare the, the characters side by side, this one to me looks more like the, the actual Disney font, so I use this one usually. So now we're going to turn this into a path, do the same thing, make the whole Disney word, do Control K, and make this all one, so that's Control K. Disney means I'm going to hold control when I drag this out so that it doesn't get all warped. I want to keep the aspect ratio. So that's that. And we'll move that around as we have to afterwards. But now we need these two little stars over here. We have a tool right here for creating stars and polygons. This is about as easy as it gets. We click on that. We want them to be black. And I just drag. And I get a little star. And we make it about that big. Let's select it and put it where it belongs, right about there. Now if I hit Control D, or you can go to Object, Duplicate, where is it? <laughs> I thought it was in one of these, I don't know which menu it's in. Control D though duplicates the object. So now I have two of them. So I'm going to bring the other one over here. If I click on this, I get these other arrows instead of the resize arrows. These are the rotate arrows. And I kind of want this one to be pointed that way. So I'm going to put it there. Now, like that where I want it. And about like that. Perfect. Now we have princess. The princess has got to be considerably bigger. I'm not going to hold control here because I don't want it to be a direct, you know, the ratio to stay the same. I kind of want to put it where I want it. So I'm going to put it about that big. Oops. Control Z undoes it. Here's my same thing. You want this to be stretched a little bit more to look like that. And that's that. And then daughter has to be bigger. So I'm going to stretch that out a bit. And now all we're missing is these little bar thingies over here. So I'm going to make them the rectangles. I'm going to come down here and do it so I have a little more room. So here's my big one. Put the selector. Now, Control D to make a copy of it. I'm going to put it right above here. I'm going to shrink it down a bit. I'll make a copy of that one. We want these to be exactly the same. Make another copy of it with Control D. Drop it down and shrink that one in. And we make a copy of that one for that. Now, these are obviously all not lined up perfect. So now, I wrap a box around the whole thing. Go to Object, Align and Distribute. First thing I want to do is line them all up along the left edge. So just find that picture, click that, and they all line up along the left edge. Now I want to make sure that there's even spacing between them all. So in distribute, we're going to distribute them here, distribute the centers equidistantly vertically. So now it's perfectly lined up. So I have the whole thing highlighted. I'm going to hit Control K, so it's one object, and then. And bring it where I want it. Let me get rid of all these menus over here. And we're going to shrink it down. So we want it about maybe like that. Maybe a little bit smaller. That looks about right. Now I want a copy of that for this side. So we just do Control D. And of course, that's facing the wrong way. So we come up here. And this little button will flip it horizontally. So we flip it. Now that goes there. And if I hold shift and click on the other one, I have them both selected now. And now I want to align those right. 
I'm gonna center those so that they're on the same plane. And now we have that. And that is about it. So now we'll get rid of the original. Highlight this whole thing. Control G to group it. Save as called Princess Daughter. Save it as a plain SVG. And that is it. We're done. So hopefully this was helpful and if you think of any other videos you want to see done, just shoot me a message, wendye524 at gmail.com, and I'll try to put them together for you. Thanks.